welcome back to Ron's Rides. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video where I'm here at Maserati Alfa Romeo of Daytona Beach in sunny Florida during Biketoberfest. So if you guys hear a lot of bikers going by, that is why. But today we're talking about another 2020 Maserati. Today we have a Levante Grand Lusso. So you guys know that I've done a 2020 Maserati Ghibli. First one to hit the lot. We did that. It was the Grand Sport. It was an S as well. Then I did a 2020 Levante Grand Sport S. Now I'm doing a 2020 Levante Grand Lusso, the luxury model, the Lusso. All right, this is where the style and flair comes in, exterior and interior. So we're gonna go over what makes the Grand Lusso a little bit different than the Grand Sport and a little bit different than the base model Levantes. And then we're gonna see the options price and see if you guys will wanna pick up a spec like this. Now, with that said, nothing has changed for the 2020 Maseratis. As I've let you guys know before that they're doing a big refresh, okay? A lot of new stuff is coming for Maserati next year, 2021, and definitely 2022. We're gonna see a lot of cool stuff coming from them, but since that's happening, they didn't change anything for 2020 because they did a big overhaul in 2018, 2019 with some options, colors, and styling, everything like that. So, nothing new from a 2019 model, but this is the spec that we have for the 2020 model. So, if you guys wanna see it, let's check it out. Now, with this Levante, it is not an S model, so you get the entry-level powertrain. Twin turbo V6, this cranks out 345 horsepower out of the three liter. You also get 369 foot pounds of torque with a zero to 60 time in 5.8 seconds and a top speed of 156 miles per hour for this all wheel drive. Now you also get this with the HBZF transmission, which is probably one of the best transmissions in the game. All right, you also have this engine built by Ferrari for Maserati specs. We know that Maserati and Ferrari will no longer be partnering on engines come 2022. So you'll still see these power plants and a lot of the cars coming in the future. But 2022, that's when everything is completely done and Maserati will be doing the Ghibli hybrids, everything like that coming out, full electric, all that. So right now, let's enjoy these power plants while we still have them. Let's talk about the front end of this 2020 Levante Grand Lusso. What you're used to for the Grand Lussos, what you're used to for the standard Levantes. The Grand Lusso only changes three major things. It could be counted as two, but we'll count it as three because there's three parts. So what are those three things? Well, the chrome, one and two on each side counts as two. <laughs> the chrome blades on the side, you get those for the Grand Lusso models. You do not get those for any other models. You guys know the Grand Sport comes with the big black blades on the side with the big air intakes as well, styled a lot differently than this bumper here. This one, you get the more standard style bumper, but you get the chrome right across there, right under the fog light on both sides. Just to show you, same on this side. All right, nothing new for the Grand Lusso, but also, Right down the middle, you get that aluminum blade right at the front as well on your front bumper. Something you only get on the Grand Lusso models, all right? So you have it in the rear and the diffuser, and you have it in the front bumper here with the chrome blades. So this is the same as 2019 Grand Lusso. Nothing has changed there, but this is just showing you what the Grand Lusso spec is like and what you're gonna get there. You do have the regular chrome and black grill here that you would get in the standard models. They don't change that for the Lusso. They don't make it all chrome or anything. For the Nerissimo package and everything, it's all black, but with this, it's the chrome as well. You do also have the driver assistance package, so big fat trident because all the technology is packed inside. Full LED headlamps, and you have your full LED fog lights as well. Looks very good. We'll get those turned on in just a minute so you guys can see what those look like. But for the most part, this is the same thing you've seen before from the Trident brand. I mean, nothing spectacular. It's just the Grand Lusso model changes up a few different things as far as what your front facial looks like as well. So let's talk about the side profile of the Levante Grand Lusso. At the standard ride height right now, if you put it in sport mode, it will lower the ride height to the sport suspension, or you can just lower it manually. You also have a couple of things that stand out from the regular model, but there's something that I wanna point out specifically. We'll start first with what we normally see, chrome door handles, chrome window surround. You do have the option out 
aluminum roof rails here that you'll see as well. So you'll see that, that is an additional option. You also have the panoramic roof, which you see up there. Bianco LP paint, which makes this thing look super curvy. I mean, just look at the rear quarter panel here. It looks so good. Um, like I said, chrome door handles. You do have the Grand Lusso badge. You have your chrome vent holes there, or your portholes. You know, unlike the Nerissimo Grand Sport we did last, you have the black window moldings. You have the black roof rails. You have the body colored match door handles. You have the black mirror caps. Let's talk about these wheels. I have yet to see these wheels here at this dealership, all right? And I've been coming back and forth here for the past five years, but even with working here, we never had a Levante with platinum Efesto wheels. Now, if you guys don't remember, and actually, hold on, just, just take a quick look at this. I'm gonna do this in real time, guys. Platinum 20 inch Efesto wheels. Do you guys remember what was on a Levante that we uh, reviewed last? Yeah, it was Efesto wheels but they were the dark Efesto wheels. I've never seen the platinum before. So those were kind of new when I first saw them. I was like, is that new for 2019? Or I just never seen them right here. These are the Efesto wheels as well. All right, but done in that dark gray, you know, uh, Grigio finish. So you guys, I mean, it, real time here. That is the difference that I have not yet noticed. And it's not new. It's just, we haven't had a model specced out this way. Um, so I wanted to show you guys with the Grand Lusso, what do you think about the Platinum Infesto wheels? You do have the Brembo brakes. Um, they are not drilled rotors because this is not an S model. So with the standard powertrain, you do not get the drilled rotors, but you do get the black calipers with any Lusso model. Now with that, we'll go up front. You guys can see a better view. Six, six piston Brembo brake calipers. Platinum Infesto wheels, 20 inches. Your tires, Continental tires. They are all season tires as well. So you get about 14,000 miles with those and they are the cross contacts. But yeah, what do you guys think about these wheels? It, like I said, it's first time for me seeing it. I'm sure other people at Maserati dealerships have seen them before, but we have never had this spec on this channel or at this dealership. So there it is. Now what you'll notice about the back of the Levante Grand Lusso is not much changes, but a couple of things that, you know, might stick out a little bit. As far as the Grand Lusso goes, right up top, your spoiler here, your spoiler in the back is actually going to be body matched to the color of the car. So because you have this Bianco LP paint, which is an upgraded paint, it is done actually in the body color here. So you can see where the cutoff here. Normally on a Levante, you have this done in gloss black. But since this is a Grand Lusso, body match. So they made it all unison, made it all look nice together. Now, the next thing you'll notice about the Grand Lusso that you don't normally see on a Levante's is the rear diffuser being done in this silver aluminum finish. All right, so you have that on Grand Lusso models. That is standard with Grand Lusso's. So any Grand Lusso you see is gonna have that silver center diffuser. It's gonna match the front bumper of the Grand Lusso as well. Same Levante styling that you're used to for Maserati. You have the Maserati insignia here done in chrome, all right, with the chrome plate there. You also have the Levante logo done in chrome, and you have the Q4 badge done in chrome as well. All right, you have your Maserati plate here, and down at the bottom, your exhaust tips done in chrome. Normally, we're always doing the Resimo uh, models where the exhaust tips are black, but also you have the honeycomb exhaust around here, all right, so it looks really good, but it's also functional as well. Now, with the Grand Sport, you have the more aggressive rear diffuser. This one is just more kind of plain, kind of under the radar, just kind of, you know, making sure the styling and body lines all match up, but nothing too aggressive that sticks out too much. I do still like the way that it looked for the Grand Lusso because it's not supposed to be out there in your face. It's supposed to be classy, it's supposed to be luxurious, it's supposed to be sleek, it's supposed to be elegant, and I think it touches all of those points, but what do you guys think? Now we're inside of the 2020 Grand Lusso, and this is where the luxury comes in. This is where the styling and class really comes to play. What you're looking at as far as your trim is your open pour wood trim. This open pour wood trim is about a $400 option on the Grand Lusso. Now, if you were to do this on a different Levante, it's probably gonna be a little bit more because of the fact that the Grand Lusso gives you better options. So when you upgrade, it's at a lower cost. But this open pour wood trim all throughout four doors, above the glove box here and down the center, I think it looks really classy, especially against this Cuyo interior. The Cuyo interior is Maserati's version of saddle. So with this saddle interior and the open pour wood, it's just a really classy look. You do have the aluminum touches to finish it off and the black leather all throughout. So anything that you see here in Cuyo is done in leather. So anything here, leather, leather, all throughout leather, 
for the Cuyo. Now, you also have black leather all throughout, but a couple of places, it's not full leather. So, if you go to the door paneling here, you have the leather up top, you have the leather through the center here, but right here, you have the hard plastic, all right? So not leather all throughout, but you get leather through most of the parts that count. Now you also have the leather steering wheel, always with Maserati leather wrapped steering wheel all throughout, all right? A lot of chrome, a lot of aluminum touches throughout this cabin. Now the big option here, $1,700, is the Piano Florida natural drill leather seats. Again, I always wish that every Maserati came with the stitch headrest, but the stitch headrest is about a $350, $400 option. So not everyone has it, but I wish it did. I wish it came maybe in black with this. I think that would be a nice tame color, something safe. But look at this natural drill leather. Look at that Italian flavor, guys. It's really stunning, incredible. I mean, this lavish look just kind of gives off that Grand Lusso feel. It feels like luxury, and when you sit in it, it's as comfortable as ever. Now, with this being natural drill leather seats, you're getting heated and ventilated seats with this. And since we have the cold weather package on this one, you're gonna get the heated seats in the rear as well, which we'll show you guys that in a moment. But what do you guys think about the class of this interior? I think the colors mesh up really well. I think the leather materials look really well together as well and feel really well together. Um, the plastic that you do have, you don't notice as much, but you do notice obviously your switches here um, done in the plastic as you guys would always say with the FCA buttons, um, same here on the steering wheel and same throughout the center. So that part you can probably X out as your luxury factors for this Maserati, but everything else is nice and clean that leather feel um, you do have the Harman Kardon sound system as well so upgraded sound system you do have the aluminum trim around that too gives it a little flavor I do wish that you had the aluminum pedals for this model but you have the rubber pedals which doesn't feel as much as luxury as if you were to have aluminum I think it would kind of mesh up everything very well tighten up the loose ends on this you do have the Alcantara headliner where you have for all Maseratis fitted with Alcantara so you'll see that pretty well here, Again, that light's kind of bad, but you'll see it there, yeah, you see it. It's not like any kind of normal headliner. The Alcantara just feels so much better, looks so much better, and it screams quality. But what do you guys think about the interior spec of this Gulavante Grand Luso? And as far as the rest of the interior goes, if you guys watch my Grand Sport video, you'll see me dive a little bit deeper into the interior. Um, there's other videos where I've gone into the Maserati touch control system, where I've gone into your aux cable, your SD, your USB, um, everything as far as your two-track system for your driving modes, everything like that. Um, everything as far as your buttons here for your driving modes, everything as far as your infotainment, air suspension, um, everything in your armrest. I've gone over all of this stuff for you guys. So you've seen it in other videos. So if you guys wanna check those out for something more in depth, make sure you check those out because I do want to make sure that you guys know everything that you're getting yourself into when it comes to the Maserati and the interior form features, functions, the tech, everything that's involved. So make sure you guys check those out, but I wanna know what are you guys thinking about the front cabin of the Levante Grand Lusso? Looking in the back of the Grand Lusso, same luxury up front you get in the rear. You also have, which I mentioned, the climate package, which gives you the heated seats in the rear as well. Not that you necessarily need them in Florida, but you have them, press once, you have them both illuminated, that's on high. Press again, that's one illuminated, it's on low. Press to turn off. So you do have that as well. Also, you'll notice all around, are these illuminated door sills as well for the Maserati plates. Those are $250 for all four. So you do get that as well. I didn't mention that up front, but actually I'll just take you guys up front so you can see right off the bat, illuminated door sills for Maserati there. You know, something that's just kind of an extra touch, an extra pizzazz on it. Um, so we'll go back to the door paneling here. Same exact thing up front, black leather, Coolio leather, all right, your open pore wood trim, your aluminum, and your Harman Kardon system speakers. I mean, it looks phenomenal. It looks exactly how you would want it to look. They didn't, you know, chimp out on it. Now, with that said, you also have the same piano floated leather right here in the rear. Same stitching, same ventilated seats. Um, again, no stitch headrest, but you know, I'll live. But everything looks so good. I mean, even stepping inside, you have plenty of room. And I had to see all the way back. I'm gonna be real with you guys. I had it all the way back so I could get a good view of the front. But look at that. 
that's plenty of leg room. I'm 5'11", and I'm, I mean, tons of tons of room here. So this is what you get the Levante for, is for the extra space in the rear and in the trunk. Now, we'll get to the trunk in just a moment, but look at everything here. Look at how classy it looks. Look at how Italian and just, I mean, you can smell the new leather in here. It's phenomenal. Um, again, I'll go over this really quickly, but you've seen everything back here before, like the USB charge only, like your HVAC vents there, and then your center feed with the cup holders as well. Same stuff you've seen before. You can tell this is very new because it still has some of the packaging with it. So we're just gonna stuff that right in here and we'll put that back up. But yeah, this is really nice. I love the Cuyo look. I love the big panoramic roof that you have and it's wrapped in the Alcantara. Now you do have a softer kind of, you know, covering here for the top. It's not the Alcantara that you'll feel here on the headliner. You can kind of see the difference there. Just like, look at that. Just tons. And this is not even back all the way, but you have tons of natural light. You can put the glass up, get a lot of air in. It's just a good place to be. If you're in the rear and enjoying the ride, that is your view up front. You're closer to the exhaust in the back, which, I mean, since we're talking about exhaust, we probably should just get a couple of blips, right? I mean, why not? <laughs> Now let's talk about the cargo space on the 2020 Levante Grand Lusso. 20.5 cubic feet of space with the seats folded up, 57.4 with the seats folded down. So now we're going to open it up by using the key fob here. Beautiful key fob as always, nice and heavy, good quality. And we're gonna double tap that to open up the boot. Now with this boot, I told you the dimensions, you do have the 60-40 split, 60% on the left hand side, 40% on the right center feed as always which you guys have seen we do have the roof rail option which is 200 dollars so with the roof rail option you can do your cargo net and hook it to this all right once you hook it to this you can move it around so you can secure any kind of luggage there all right if you do have the cargo mat it goes in between the rails here so it doesn't obstruct anything when you go to do or use the rails or when you go to lift up here to get to your tools now with this you have your strap as i showed you guys before in your grand sport video there and you have your extra spot for tools any kind of storage here all right with that you also have your license plate holder all right so if you guys are in a state or country who has a front license plate you're gonna have that there now since this is america you have the small square license plates but you have the different license plates with that following country now with that said also go underneath really easy they make this easy i'm holding a camera and i'm doing this with one hand um to where i just can grab this lift it up pretty light and then underneath you do have your spare battery or your spare battery your spare tire your battery and your tools with your tire inflate kit everything there you need to get this levante back on the road if something were to happen but you do have 24 hour roadside assistance if you ever need it but this thing is just i love the functionality of it i mean it has everything you need i mean even the straps on the side here for both sides your 12 volt right over there in the corner too i mean it's just, it's, it's plenty of space. If you want to take this off, it's easy to take this off right here. All you have to do is unhook it here. You can get a little bit more space by, you know, removing that panel. And you need to put a bigger box back there that won't get in the way. It's super light and easy to move. Um, there's plenty of ways to close this trunk. You can close it here, close it, or close it and unlock it. You can pull it down here, all right? You can also use the key fob, or if you're in the inside and maybe you forgot to close your trunk or anything like that, you can just press the button from the inside uh, right above the headliner there and you can just close it right there. So there's tons of ways to really have form and function for this cargo space. And I really appreciate stuff like that because this is supposed to be a easy daily driver, something easy to use, stylistic, but practical at the same time. And I think the Levante really, really conquers that kind of mission. Full LED headlamps with the turn signals and the full LED fog lamps on as well. You can see it all nicely together. Looks very nice. It functions even nicer. We'll get a little bit closer so you guys can see the full package together. I think it looks great. Now you can also see the turn signal right here on the side. I know with it being full daylight here, it's not gonna show up as well as you want it to. We'll scoot around to the back real time so you guys can see the full LED tail lamps with the turn indicator as well. Same as what you're used to, but for those who are new here, this is what they look like. 
Lighting is a big thing for some people. They really want their lights to look a certain way. They really want a certain class, a certain style with them. So I want to show them off just in case, you know, you want to meet your expectations. This is what it looks like on a 2020 Maserati Levante. Now let's check out the options and MSRP of this 2020 Maserati Levante Grand Lusso. First, we're going to start with the MSRP, 78,990, and that is before options. When you add a few additional equipment here, you get down to 87,835 US dollars. Now that is included with the destination charge of 1195 and the preparation and delivery of $300. With this, you do get a four year, 50,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty. Let's talk about those additional options to get it going. The cold weather package or a climate package, $300 for that where you have the heated rear seats and you have the heated weather nozzle. You also have the open pour wood trim. That is $400. You have the piano fluid natural leather seats, which is $1,700. You also have the 20 inch Efesto platinum wheels, which are $1,800. Then you have the floor cargo rails, which is $200. You have the illuminated steel door seal, which is $250. And you have the Bianco Alpi tri-coat paint at $2,700. So that is your additional options for this Grand Lusso. Now let's talk about the standard options. A lot of stuff to list here, but we'll kind of go down the list slowly so you guys can see everything that is available. As always, you have your Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, you have your air ride suspension, you have your auto dimming mirrors. With this, you have your soft closed doors, stuff like your highway assist, full LED headlights and tail lamps, all that good stuff. Make sure you guys give this a good look. I'm gonna go over it one more time so you guys can slow it down. Make sure you're seeing everything that is available for this Q4 Maserati Levante Grand Lusso. Let me know what you guys think about the options and everything that's provided. And the gas mileage here, we'll check it out. 17 combined city and highway, 15 city, 21 highway. Pretty decent, pretty standard for a twin turbo V6 coming out of Italy. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video of the 2020 Maserati Levante Grand Lusso. If you did, make sure you give the video a thumbs up. Giving it a thumbs up helps get it up in the rankings. More people can see it and we can have a bigger discussion on this spec of the 2020 Grand Lusso. Now with that said, if you guys want to help support the channel, support your boy, make sure you check the links down below. I always have the one-time donation through PayPal. If you guys want to click the PayPal link, you're going to donate a dollar or two to the channel. Much appreciated. Or you can do the Patreon subscription as well. Or you can check out the Ron's Rise merch if you guys want to get a Ron's Rise t-shirt, hoodies, stickers, pillows coffee mugs everything like that your support means a lot to me now with that said you guys can also check out my social media Facebook snapchat Instagram I'm always putting stuff on there that I don't put on the channel because I want to make sure that it's exclusive to everyone that's following now with that said you guys make sure you subscribe for more Ron's Rides videos click that notification bell so you can get the video straight to your inbox and we'll hear what you have to say about the 2020 Levante Grand Lucio in the comments below guys be blessed thank you so much for your time drive safe out there see you in the next Ron's Rides video Peace.